The Philippines, they say, is a land of great singers. And in Thailand, there are records of Filipinos or those with Filipino blood who made it big in the Thai entertainment industry. One of them gave us the opportunity to get to know him more. Our guest today is a Thai actor slash singer with massive hit songs back in the 90s and hit movies on the side. Hi everyone, my name is John and today we're going to interview Filipino Thai actor slash singer Billy Ogan. How are you doing, Mr. Billy? Hi, hello. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. I have to greeting you in Thai. Yeah. Swadika. Sure. Swadika. My name is Billy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mr. Billy, this pandemic period, what do you normally do? My bi business right now, uh, I have a restaurant mm -hmm. these days. So, I work at my own restaurant. Yeah, okay. But right now, I, ha I have to call it like a takeaway, <laughs> takeaway <laughs> take restaurant. To avoid contact with, you know, like COVID right yeah. now. Mm, I got yeah. it. Yeah. You are half Filipino, half Thai. How are you part yeah. Filipino? My father, he's, he was from, uh, he was from Bohol. Okay. Yeah. He's from Bohol. Uh, most of his family are from Bohol. And uh, my, my, my grandfather, his name is William, William C. Ogan. I think he puts up the, the first uh, bus business in Bohol. My grandfather, he's an American who used to fought in the, uh, in the war. Okay. But after, after the war, he decides to stay in the Philippines. Stay in the Philippines. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm. And so he has family there in Bohol. Right. I guess it's Takbilaran, something Takbil like that. Takbilaran. Yes, it's, it's the capital city of, of Bohol. Ah, it's a very okay. nice beach. It, oh, wow. It, it has uh, this beach called Panglao Beach. Uh -huh. One of the most beautiful beaches in the Philippines, I believe. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I wish I go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, have you been to the Philippines? Oh, yes. I was born in Cebu. In uh, St. Papichol Hospital. Okay. In which I has now my cousin working working there as a doctor. Oh, I also oh, wow. have many many relatives and cousins in in Cebu. In Cebu, mm, yeah, okay. in Cebu. And you said you were born in Bohol. Uh, sorry, in Cebu. Cebu. When did you move to Thailand? When I was um, I was two years old, and then oh. my parents decided to move back to Thailand. Actually, my father he was a um, student came to study. I think it's from the some education fund from the from the Philippines to to come study civil engineer in in Chula oh, okay. University here. So yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He came and met met my mom. Mm -hmm. When he finished studying, he went back to the Philippines, and my mom went to the Philippines too. She oh, stayed there for a while, right? And did deliver two children there. It's my elder brother John and me. After I was born, they decided. To come back to Thailand, and I we see. live in Bangkok since since then. Uh, in our <laughs> earlier conversation, you said you spent a few like years in Dumaguete as well. Yeah, I went to high school in a, a school called Siliman. Siliman, oh, oh, my meter. I still, oh, you still remember <laughs> the song. <laughs> Siliman okay. beside the sea, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have favorite Filipino food? Yes, I like Paksiu Lake Sean. I can, cook, cook, I can cook Filipino food. I know how to cook adobo. Oh, really? Yes. My mom, when she was alive, mm -hmm. uh, she used to cook Filipino food in the house. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Thai, a Thai lady cooking Filipino food. Okay. Yes. That's, she cooks uh, nice. very well. All right. So, uh, Mr. Billy, you started in a quick Google search. You started as a model. But how did you get into the entertainment industry, like singing and, and, and acting? When I first uh, become a model, I do also like walking on stage you know for the fashion show in the right. um, top how you call it department stores in that time mm -hmm. you know so you have the stage and every week ends in the Siam center i also shoot photos for the magazines and you know like the producers and the directors sometimes when they look for the new actors they look among the magazines cover oh okay you mm -hmm. see so one 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 of them called me up and you know approached me uh, for a role in a, in a movie Mm. Mm -hmm. that, that's how I get into that was the, the start comedy teenage movie like something like mm. that you know? before singing you were an actor first I mean you yeah. started as an actor yep oh. I started as an actor and um, after a few movies mm -hmm. I was invited uh you know, there was also like every Saturday and Sunday, there will be a noon televised concert 
and then as a in the middle of the show they will take a short break and they will invite the guests you know mm-hmm. usually it's like a movie stars or some uh, you, we don't have the word celebrities at that time at the time mm-hmm. <laughs> so the yeah. movie stars you know come to interview a little bit and then sing one song you know so mm-hmm. give the artist a break so i went there and i i sang on on the stage Okay, and then after I finished singing, that's how the record company came to approach me. Wow, mm. you know, uh, mm. I was not singing a Thai song. I was actually singing a Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Mm. Yeah, uh, just the way you are. Just the way you are. If you don't mind me asking, can you give us a little bit of that song? Don't go changing wow. to try and please me. You never let me down before. Mm. <laughs> very good, very. I love your voice. I love your voice. <laughs> very nice, Mr. Billy. Um, who inspired you to pursue a career in music? By the way, actually, I personally, I, I I'm a person who loves to sing. I love music mm-hmm. because my my mother, she's a, also a very good pianist. Yes, she plays classical music and like she loves to play Chopin. I remember myself looking at my mom when she when she plays music at home. We have a piano, and uh, and when she leaves the piano. I would go. I was very young, like four or five years old. But I was, you know, I saw. I so I have her as a role model oh, to love okay. to play music. So I, but right. but I didn't go to uh, any piano school directly. Mm. I, I learned myself. But uh, I, I didn't imagine myself as a singer. Never singing mm. just comes later on. But it started as as a passion for playing instrument. Like you, you enjoyed watching your mom playing the piano. Yeah, mm. yeah. I also played organ in the in the church. Uh, in the church in the Philippines or in in, in Bangkok? In, in Bangkok, in Bangkok. Mm-hmm. My my family is a Catholic family, so uh, we go to church. Uh, when when I was young, I have to go with my grandma. Mm-hmm. You see, because my mother works, and I was yeah. the altar boy in the church. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and and when I. When I grow up, I become like, I play the organ I see. In, in the church. Tell us about your favorite performance in your career. Well, that happens like when I was young, when I, when I was like in my second album. That's what it, uh, in the beginning of the 90s. Yeah, we, because the, the, the most important day is the king's birthday, King Rama 9, our, yeah. our late king. Mm-hmm. And before, we, we make it uh, like a very, very big celebration at uh, Sanam Luang, you Sanam know? Sanam Luang, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. At the ro- Royal Field. Oh. And we go perform there. So it's a, it's a big honor. And it was the king's birthday. So we feel, king's birthday. we feel very proud to be there. Yes, I understand. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So that, that's, that's one of my, 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 my great favorite memory. performance. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how would you describe your music? My music is... Um, you see, there are two stages of the of my music career. The first stage was uh, since when I, in the beginning when I start my career with Grammy Entertainment at that time. I signed contract with them, but there are t- music team that works works for my album. I, I don't really compose it. They have mm-hmm. the music composer, they have the producers, also the studio artists who do all the recordings. I made four albums with Grammy, and then after the fourth album, I decided to you know, leave Grammy and go on my own path. So since then, I became the producer and write all my music oh. myself. I believe that an artist, we must work our our music. Correct. Correct. What, mm-hmm. what is our thinking? Mm-hmm. What we want to present everything and mm-hmm. what, what we hear and That's we want right. you to hear. Mm-hmm. So I, I write all the lyrics, the melodies, you see? Yeah, mm-hmm. and also I record. So and and I'm the producer. So since then I become like I have become very happy because uh, this is my music. Right, it's um, like yeah. your true identity. Yeah, because I like the song. Oh, I write the song very I much. I write a song. On a yeah, name. that's my favorite song, all time right. favorite. All time. I love favorite. Barry Manilow's. I know a lot about music industry in the Philippines before oh. too. You know, oh, okay. you know, like I know many many of your famous singer because my dad also like have, has business in the philippines also before my dad was doing like publishing so he does uh, publishing magazines here and he runs a few magazine there so okay. it's so kind of like he's a guy that go back and forth mm-hmm, you see? Mm-hmm. yes yes uh, bangkok manila so i'm able to you know get something from the philippines sometimes mm-hmm. he, he brought the cds mm-hmm. Or oh, my cousin sent to me. So I, I know like uh, Randy Santiago, as I told you, and Kula Desma. Kula Desma, oh. Pinoy Rock. 
like rock band, rock, rock band. bands. Okay, but your your type of music is also rock, right? Yeah. Oh, and Gary uh, V. Yeah, Gary yeah, V. Oh, Gary V. Oh, wow. Uh, very soulful <laughs> music. Like yeah. you can really feel every single line whenever he sings. He's, he's, yeah. he's an absolute legend. You earlier said that sometimes your cousin would send you stuff from the Philippines. Do you know any Filipino songs? Oh, the Hot Dogs. Remember some of their song, but I, I I don't know that I, I will sing it right or not because you know I I don't I don't speak the Galak. Mm-hmm. It's something like a. A a hingu a ganda na hipa maduduli mga ngaki mga pata putas pa ang punsa ari. Is it right? <laughs> uh, I I can understand some of the words. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, and uh, who is the Filipino singer do you want to collaborate with if you have the chance, and why? Randy Santiago. Randy Santiago. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like him because because uh, he he is the the singer with a black black eyeglass all the time, right? That's right. That's right. Yes. Uh huh. And I'm I am the back the singer with black glasses here too. Uh, in Thailand, like you're in kind Thailand. of like. In mm-hmm. Thailand, they call me. They call me Billy Kim. Okay. What does that mean? Kim is like intense. You know. Oh. And my glasses like is intense, intense, mm-hmm. uh, and my music is like rock, rock, like intense, like that. Intense you know, as before. well, yeah. Uh, right, right. But also like some pop music we have we do also mm-hmm. because in the in the Thai market we, you know, if you're working with a record company, you know, they will have to do like some like pop music, but very right. good pop music like that. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Mr. Billy, you earlier said that you grew up with um, like close to the church. So, yeah. can you tell us about your experience singing for the Pope? Because two years ago he was here, um, he visited Thailand. What was your experience singing for him? Oh, we we were very excited. You have to understand that, like in in Thailand, we are not a we are not a Catholic ca- country. Mm-hmm. So uh, the amount of Catholic in 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 Thailand is not a lot. We can understand that he is very very nice. He is yes, yes. Very yes. kind to everybody. Kind. We are very glad to see him. It's uh, something like it happens in like once in a lifetime. That's right. That's uh, right. And, yes. and all all popes are very kind to Thai people. Mm-hmm. Although even though we don't have much Catholic here, but also like Pope John Paul, yeah, the second used to visit Thailand, and our Pope Francis came to visit us. Uh, we love him very much, mm-hmm. and and we we pray for him. Mr. Billy, you are both an actor and a singer, but which of the two do you enjoy doing more? Personally, I enjoy doing more music. You know, I, I love to work in a silence. It's really a different world when you go to a shooting in the studio, or you know, you see hundreds of people, the staff, there, you know, in the production. Yeah. I prefer to work uh, as a musician mm. more than to be an actor. I enjoy it. <laughs> Mm, I got it. I got it. Thank you. So there are, of course, a lot of aspiring singers, you know, budding musicians who would like to follow your path. What advice can you give to them? My advice? You mm-hmm. sure I'm good enough to ha- give an well, advice? Why not? You made a name for yourself <laughs> in Thailand. Okay. I'm sure you can. They can get something from you. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first thing, lah. Sure. The first thing, uh, practice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Practice. You see, the more you do. The more you be like doing it naturally. If you do it naturally, it becomes part of you already. When you do it, you don't even have to think of it. The second one is uh, be humble, right? Because there is always someone better than you. Never yeah, forget I, l- that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> and the last thing, be thankful for for everything, right? For the good and for the bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have to be grateful because uh, everything in life. It's just an experience. You can't take anything with you. That's uh, all. Oh, That's wow. All. I appreciate those simple three words, but <laughs> very, very profound. From time to time, my Thai students are watching my videos. I do have a lot of Filipino contents, but there are a few English contents. I'm sure they will watch this because it's English. And I'm going to send this uh-huh. video to them as well. I just had an album released mm-hmm. last year, mm-hmm. but I never promoted because oh. before it came, Oh, right, 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 right. So I decided just to leave it like that. So I put it up on uh, on YouTube. On YouTube, okay. Yeah, uh, um, but my page is like Billy Ogan Official. Okay, I'm going to put your profile page in the uh, description <laughs> box below and also the link for your um, album. So, you know. Uh, great, thank can, you a lot. Thanks a lot. Click and, and, and listen to it. 
Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My new album is uh, it's old school. Old school. That's the name of the album, right? Yeah, it's really mm. old school because oh, okay. uh, I I make this album with a style of the music you used to listen in the 80s. Oh, okay, right, okay. right, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Billy, thank you so much for your time for giving me the opportunity to have a chat with you and get to know your background, your Filipino background. It's an honor to be speaking, you know, with you. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Same. Thanks for you coming to interview me, and I hope everybody in the Philippines, okay. Yeah. We'll be healthy. We'll be healthy. Thank you. Thank okay, you so for much. the coming years. Okay, see you. Thank see you, you so much. See you. Thank you. Sawadee kap. Bye bye. Sawadee kap. Sawadee kap. So there you go, guys. That's Billy Ogan. I hope you you've learned so much about him, his Filipino roots. It's, it's nice to get to know someone with a Filipino blood, and it's also nice that Billy Ogan allowed us to interview him so he can share his Filipino roots, his understanding of the Filipino culture, uh, some Filipino information, and I am super super happy. And he's a very nice lad too. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. Click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Also consider liking and sharing and leaving your comments as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.